You might have written the best essay in the world, but the truth is, teachers don't have the time to read through every word you write. That's why they prefer you write in active voice over passive voice. Let's quickly review their difference. In active voice, the subject of the sentence comes first, followed by the action and then the object. While in passive voice, the object and the action come first, while the subject is added at the end and is usually introduced by the preposition by. Again, in active voice, the subject always comes first. Now, why do teachers prefer active voice in your essays? Here are the following reasons. 1. Active voice produces clarity. Here's a simple example to demonstrate what I mean. I love you. This sentence is an active voice because the actor or subject, I, is performing the action love towards the object you. So there's no confusion about who is doing the loving and who is being loved. Now let's look at the same sentence in passive voice. You are loved by me. Since the focus shifted to the object of the action, you, it's not immediately clear who is doing the loving. This will make your readers stop and think to try to figure it out. And as I said, teachers don't have the time for that. So they skim to get the main idea quickly and sentences in active voice like I love you makes their job easier. If this reason is not enough for you to write in active voice, let's look at the second point. Active voice creates an emotional impact. For instance, the thieves stole Andrew's car and all his money. Don't you feel angry and shocked as soon as you read this? Now compare your emotional reaction if you write this in passive voice. Andrew's car and all his money were stolen by the thieves. The passive voice creates a more detached feeling. That's why it's called passive, which is not what we want when trying to engage our readers with our argument and keep them reading. The third point will make you ditch passive voice for good. Active voice is more concise and builds confidence. Let's look at these two examples. Passive voice. A new product was developed by the company to increase sales. The company developed a new product to increase sales. Both mean the same thing. But the active voice sentence is more direct and easier for teachers to read. And here's how it builds confidence in your writing. Read and compare these two examples. Passive voice. The internet has been shown to be a valuable resource by many studies. Active voice. Many studies have shown the internet to be a valuable resource. Which sentence sounds more confident? Right, the active voice. Many studies have shown the internet to be a valuable resource. This sentence gives us the impression that the writer is sure about the statement. If you want to improve your essay writing even more, here are six techniques you can use right now to improve your sentences. 